here on the beach and I thought maybe I could tuck him up in the rocks a little bit and make a little safe place but he, he wants to be out in the sun. He's kind of waddled right back out. He had a little adrenaline rush from being grabbed by a giant monster. Hi little bud. You look a little perkier now. have any regurgitated fish or anything to feed you. You alright? You really fought valiantly, biting and pecking and warrior bird. Yeah, you're gonna maintain. You're gonna be able to protect you from the doggies. You're really handsome. You are really handsome. Wow. Look at you. Crazy little bird too. Definitely a short bird. You're super crazy. to name this thing. But we're out here surfing. The Hurricane Maria came up to our part of the coast with three foot waves, 16 second intervals, which is surfer lingo as good as it gets. So we came out to surf. Yesterday I kind of had my um, my hat handed to me. We'll say it that way. Uh, went out in some really big rowdy waves and actually did a crazy overhead loop-de-loop -loop kind of maneuver that was totally accidental and it kind of scared me and I'm really sore. <laughs> so, so the waves today looked a little junkier and a little crazier than they were yesterday um, and the wind is a little bit more powerful. So I'm watching GP right now out the window. I elected to be um, camper frau, although I don't like being camper frau at all, and I get I get kind of kind of whiny when I get locked up in the camper all day. But I did have some editing to do, and GP installed a couple solar panels so I can actually work from here. So I filmed a couple things while I was home, edited them here, and uploaded them from the library, which works out really great. The actual upload speed of the library is four times faster than my home speed, so it's not a bad scenario. The coastal range along the Pacific coast here in Oregon is a temperate rainforest, and it is so lush and verdant and beautiful and mossy and ferny and amazingly green and fertile that even with terrible forest mismanagement, there's still just this amazing carpet of needles and moss and it's really something extraordinary to walk among. And we were camped in an area that had once burned and a lot of the trees are competing with each other so there's not a lot of understory and I went out to pee this morning and I spotted um, a mushroom stump. And I have specifically over the years trained my eyes to see things like mushroom stumps. And an hour later I came home, well I'll show you the footage, pockets, shirt, <laughs> full of mushrooms. So I just spent the last like 25 minutes washing them off, rolling out some pasta, and I'm going to put together a really yummy, delicious, Simple, simple, simple pasta with mushrooms. We are going back there tonight to camp, and so I'm gonna get some footage. This time I'll take my camera with me and I'll show you what it looks like out there in the forest and what they look like when they're coming up. There is an excellent group on Facebook. I believe it's just called Mushroom Identification Group, and you can just join and you can put pictures of what you find and you take a picture of the top and you take a picture of the gill and a lot of times you cut it in half to see if it stains a color. And you can put the picture up and people from all over the country, all over the world actually will help identify it, at least get you pointed in the right direction. So it's a super cool resource if you don't have access to a mycologist.
What you got? Mushrooms. Chanterelles. Tons of them. And I also found, I can't even let go of my shirt, some chicken of the woods, young ones. And these are supposed to be really good. But these are chanterelles. They're coastal chanterelles, so they're a little more kind of orange and tan than what we get in the in our mountains. But they're baby ones. The mushroom rivers have been here in force, and you can tell because you see these little cut-off stumps everywhere. And I didn't take a knife and cut them. Here's a stump. This is what the stumps look like. So when people come before you and they cut them off the proper way, you should take a knife and cut them. But because I was on a walk in the woods and I didn't have any anticipation of finding mushrooms, I just happened upon them. I had to pluck them the bad way. I went greedy. Good morning! It's really early and it's still kind of dark in the forest so I'm just going to film a little segment here and wait for the light to catch up. But I want to show you what the mushrooms look like when they're growing. So come with me. <laughs> What a good vein looks like. You'll see there, 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 coming all along this duff. A little patch of them right here, 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 here. A couple of them right here. A couple of them right here. One underfoot. Right there, back to the camper. <laughs> 